Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 5 starts now. Police are called to two different schools in Warren over alleged threats made by students. Tonight, one of them faces a felony charge. Thanks for joining us for Local 4 News at 5. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillion. A 13-year-old is accused of sending a death threat to a classmate. This incident happening Tuesday at Chatterton Middle School following a separate incident Monday at Carter Middle School. Will Jones live with more here. Will, you talked with the parents of the 13-year-old student who's been charged. Yeah, Devin and Kimberly, they understand the times that we're living in with school shootings, but they believe the way in which this incident has been handled is wrong. They literally read these charges off. It blew my mind. Like, is you serious? Because they don't know our son. The parents of a 13 year old Chatterton Middle School student in Warren are upset that their son is now facing a felony charge for allegedly sending threats to a student Tuesday after a fight. Warren police say they discovered a handgun and a BB replica firearm in the boy's home. His parents described their response to what happened as an overreaction. This boy finna come up in here and just grab a gun and go back. Come on, don't put that on because he got to live with that. The charges that they just read off yeah. is serious. Warren police say they took quick action after two reports of threats to students this week. The other incident happened at Carter Middle School. Police sharing with local four a copy of a death list that they say an 11 year old female Carter Middle School student compiled that included about a dozen students. You know, once you receive information, you have to react to that information immediately. You can't wait 12, 12 hours, 24 hours. You gotta move quickly. Warren Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer says parents need to pay closer attention to what their children are doing and saying. Parents really have to take more responsibility. They have to sit down with their son and daughters, listen to their son and daughters first, and then give them advice. And they have to monitor them very closely. Both schools sent letters to parents echoing what the police commissioner just said. They say parents should monitor what their kids are doing on their cell phones and social media. We are live tonight. Will Jones, Local 4. Yeah. All right, Will.